Encyclia tempensis, commonly known as the Florida butterfly orchid, is native to Florida, the Bahamas, and Cuba. The Encyclia tempensis belongs to the Orchidaceae family and the Encyclia genus. The common name refers to the orchid's resemblance to a butterfly. The species name tempensis, as stated by the quarterly magazine of the Florida Native Plant Society, describes the first recorded location of the orchid, which was Tampa Bay. The Florida butterfly orchid flowering period is May through August, however, it peaks in June, According to Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden, this orchid is an epiphyte plant. This means that it grows on a plant or object for physical support. The Florida butterfly orchid, also known by its scientific name Encyclia tempensis, is one of the showiest native orchids throughout Florida. The flowers are relatively small and come in a variety of colors when in bloom, such as yellow, copper, green, orange, or bronze. They typically bloom in late spring and summer. Their honey-like fragrance attracts a variety of bees, which are like the plant's primary pollinators, establishing them as an imperative feature of Florida's ecosystem, as stated by the Florida Wildflower Foundation. In Florida, they are primarily recommended for natural landscapes and habitat restoration. Therefore, by using native plants such as the Florida butterfly orchid for general landscaping and restoration, it can be used as a sustainable practice because they are better adapted to their climate and require fewer resources to grow. According to regionalconservation.org, this is because they are epiphytic, meaning that they grow on the trunks and branches of trees and shrubs. Orchids are able to reproduce themselves in two ways, sexually by seed and the other sexually by vegetative propagation. As the spruce.com stated, orchids can also be propagated from seed or with tissue culture, but seed can take up to a decade or more to develop a viable plant and tissue culture, which is more successfully done in a laboratory setting. There are different techniques used in orchid propagation, especially using vegetative propagation. Orchids require plenty of care, like keeping a consistent watering schedule and keeping them at a certain temperature, which is below 85 degrees. Coming to the conclusion that our school's grounds may present a challenging environment for the Florida butterfly orchid. This is due to the fact that despite our climate having the suitable temperatures as well as humidity, the excess amount of sunlight and the weather events that were occurring at the time of this experiment, such as cold fronts, may have affected the growth of these orchids severely. Another anomalous factor that contributed to the health decline of the orchids was a squirrel that came into our garden and knocked over the majority of our orchids in search of food. However, the orchid and the plant remained it healthy and grew well, which could have been due to the fact it got a solid surface to attach itself to. In our video, have a great day.